Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. They feed on plant matter, especially seeds and insects. They do not drink, but survive on water obtained from food or produced by their own metabolism. The similar appearing kangaroo rat and jumping mouse of North America are not of the same family as the jerboa. There are about 25 jerboa species, 22 of them in Asia. Let's help you make your mark. Miriam S. Kangaroo Rat is the most common and widespread kangaroo rat in the Sonoran Desert. The Arizona Pocket Mouse and the Desert Pocket Mouse both inhabit the sandy, open desert with sparse vegetation of grasses, mesquites, creosote bushes, and a few cacti. Let's help you make your mark. Kangaroo rats, Dipotomies sp. Cute as they might look jumping around on their enlarged hind feet, the 20-plus species of kangaroo rat do not make especially good pets. They require a huge cage and specialized care. Because they are still essentially wild animals, they may not become particularly friendly to people. Make your mark, take our lead. Does the kangaroo rat make a good pet? No, these rodents do not make good pets. They are desert creatures and have specific temperature and humidity requirements. In most places, it is also illegal to own one as a pet. Make your mark, take our lead. The kangaroo rat mostly eats seeds, leaves, stems and insects. Grasses and fresh pads and buds of some species of cactus. The javelina eats cacti, grass, bulbs, berries, flowers, mushrooms, and fruit, which is easy for them to get in their habitat. Let's help you make your mark. Jerboas are not successfully bred very often in captivity, which makes them rare pets, even in the exotic pet trade. They are not considered good pets at this time. The most common species available in the pet trade are the greater and lesser Egyptian jerboa. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.